in my in my worst state. And when I wanted to turn my back, you let me turn my back, and then you brought me to my knees. And when I got even mad and even more upset, you got me on my face. And you said to me, that's exactly where I want you. You got to kill those things that are killing you sometimes. Sometimes you got to lay it on the altar. Somebody here, somebody says, why do you always preach repentance? I said, baby, because that's the sacrifice, that's the offering. Sometimes you got to present yourself a living sacrifice. Be willing to give up the thing that you want to keep. So God can change you into the person that you never thought you would be. Let me just say this parenthetically. If somebody's hating on you, or if you're getting hate somewhere, God's going to use that so you can give birth to your purpose through his promise. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, let's, let's look at the Bible. Look at Psalms 23. Let's look at let's look at verse number number five. The Bible says, "You talking about God, prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies." And he said, "You anoint my head with oil and cover myself." The Bible talks about. A prepared blessing that you cannot enjoy unless you're in the presence of the Lord. And you have to be in the presence of the thing that you are afraid of. See, sometimes we preach no fear here and things of that nature, you know, and it's true. We will fear no evil for the Lord is with us, but sometimes we got to face it in the presence of our enemies. See, if somebody's hating on you and they're looking at you like this, and they're saying, ah, he's not qualified. There's no way he's gonna make it. Sometimes you just have to bear it up, fix your face like Flint, and do what God wants you to do because there is a table prepared before you in the presence of your enemy. Because believe it or not, God wants to save our enemies too. I said Jesus died for humanity. And he wants to get the enemy in a place where they, they might deny him, but they can't deny you. They cannot deny what God has done in your life because they are looking at you to fail and no matter how much they're working to destroy you, you keep on multiplying, you keep on replenishing, you keep on serving, you keep on going. And when other people try to give up, you're still there. And it's prophesying not only with the faith that God has put in you, but the one that gives the faith. They know that, hey, I know he doesn't qualify. I know. He came from this, he came from that, he came from the other. I know him from what he used to do. But look what God has done to him now. I know there's a God in heaven because I know this person. 